Attention boys, Jim McFillyaddy, please make your way to the press box. Jim McFillyaddy, please make your way to the press box. Thank you. Thank you to join us back here at Memorial Stadium for our first ever test of the fifth night presented by Social Panel Talk. And then on Friday, April 12th, that's next Friday. Watch the Charlotte Independent State on Greenville Triumph FC with your well-behaved furry friend by your side. Chicken packages are $30 and put a pool blanket dog back down. Limited packages are available. Secure your seat at charlotteindependence.com. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tonight. Have a beautiful evening and please travel safely. Coach Mike Jeffries. Mike, USOC hard-fought victory. Uh, that whole game, it seemed like we didn't have any shots on box, man. I got to ask you, what's that? Our, our final third play wasn't very sharp. We, I, I didn't think we came out with the good mentality or intensity the first half and, uh, and, and uh, just weren't sharp. Um, we, I felt like we, we couldn't make a play uh, most of the first half. There were moments the second half were a little bit better, um, but then last pass, finishing shot, we just wasn't good enough uh, on the night. And look. A lot of credit to them. They defended well, they defended in numbers, they worked incredibly hard and, and made it very difficult for us. Um, so, you know, full credit to them. It's, you know, you got the win in the end, survive in advance, but at the same time, uh, did you guys overestimate the opponent? Overestimate them? Uh, I, I don't think, you know, I, I don't think we uh, either underestimated or overestimated them. I think, like, uh, sometimes in, in these games, you know, no matter what you, you know, how you prepare, uh, the mentality of, of being sharp and being ready uh, for a team that's going to put everything into it. That's this is a huge game for them, and especially guys, you know, uh, guys that want to prove themselves to us as a club, and, and have even, you know, some of them been in with us before and stuff. Um, th it means everything to them, and I didn't think we matched their intensity uh, throughout the night. And, and when you expend this much energy on a U.S. Open Cup game, uh, what are you going to be looking for going into the next league game? Yeah, bright spot for us is uh, Chattanooga canceled our next league game, so uh, we've got 10 days basically, you know, or, or even more. So, uh, look, we, we'll recover from tonight. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things we have to be a lot sharper about. Uh, we've got a, China, you know, a week and a half to sort of put things right uh, in, you know, in terms of do and how we can be better um, but I guess in, in some ways scheduling wise it may be a, a fortunate timing for what, what are we going to do to get some more goals scored at the end of the day uh, look I don't I think we've not been clinical enough at all final third but I, you know I think uh, it's always the, the hardest thing or the last thing that comes together is, is, is how you do in the final third I think last year we went through the same thing at the beginning of the year um, but we were getting goals from set pieces and, and kind of uh, fluky ways. I don't think we've been as sharp as we need to be on our counterattacks, which, which is an area that we're usually stronger. Um, and then you know, we just haven't uh, found that last pass, of, uh, little runs to, to be uh, creative and, and get more chances. Coach, thank you so much. Appreciate yeah, no it.
Um, we knew if we got to go through 120 minutes, go to penalty shoot out, we got to do what we got to do. But even if it's ugly, we just want to win in advance kind of thing. And Mike kind of addressed that in the locker room too. It wasn't pretty, but you know, it's kind of a, speaks to our mentality, winning and getting the job done. And as far as you coming from USL Championship last year, potentially getting to see another USL Championship team in the next round, is that a motivator for you? 100%. We, all these boys want to prove themselves to the USL Championship teams. All these guys have aspirations to go to the championship. So it's a perfect time to prove ourselves right now. On a Tuesday night, it's a random night, but you got a whole band section up in the crowd. What do the fans mean to you? Appreciate you. It means a lot. Honestly, when we came here before the game, we were like, dang, we have no fans at this game. But just to hear these guys banging the drum, walking over here before this penalty shoot us, we can't thank you guys enough for that support and love, man. It really goes a long way. Even if they're banging 120 minutes straight, you know what I'm saying? But we hear it the whole game. It fuels us up, too. And it's like a true home field advantage for us. All right, superhuman. Appreciate your time. How are we feeling? Feeling good. On to the third round.